Hey everybody, Eric Hayden here in the garden. We've mentioned the last couple of weeks and posts that we've done, really focusing in on things you can do in the winter time. We mentioned weeding, getting rid of those weeds before they set flowers and eventually seed. Um, some cleaning up of your bushes if you've got any dieback. You could probably hold off on that, but uh, there's certainly some things you can do in your garden as far as weeding goes and kind of sprucing things up for the winter. One thing I like to do, I should have probably done it in the fall, is utilize anything you have in your yard in terms of a mulch. So what we're looking at here now, I have a tree that's kind of on the, my neighbor's yard uh, on the border. Uh, so it puts a lot of leaves down into our yard and they're pine leaves, or they are oak leaves. So I run our lawnmower over it multiple times with the uh, bag off. So the, um, the mode where you chop up your grass or your leaves, the, the recycling mode. Um, and what happens is it's a real fine, um, chopped up leaf that comes out once you do that. Yes, you have some some bigger leaves, but overall they're much finer. The reason why you want to do that is when you apply it to your garden itself, it'll be much quicker in terms of breaking down. So you can see that some of this mulch I've put down and it's not going to be super thick like my pine straw was uh, back in the summertime, but still this is organic matter that you're adding to your garden. It will act like a little bit of a mulch uh, depending on how thick you put it in. But all of this will eventually break down and it'll break down quicker if you have smaller particles of leaves like that than the majority being big ones. So that's one reason why you want to chop it up. So if you have an area of leaves, run that lawnmower over it over and over and over again. Then eventually what I'll do is I'll put the bag on and I'll suck up as many leaves as I can. And that's what is uh, in the, the beds right now. Again, not quite thick enough to be a, a great mulch but you can see a pile of it here now and by and large most of it's chopped up also when they're chopped up not only does it break down quicker but they're not as likely to blow away because they kind of stick together uh, kind of like pieces in a puzzle um, fitting together rather than being um, big leaves that are loose and blow around so I'll lightly scatter that through the garden that will break down through the spring Worms love them. It's good for your soil. And again, anytime you can get some organic matter into the soil, uh, it's certainly a good thing. So once you run that lawnmower over and over again, I wish I did a video before I cleaned this pile up uh, from that where that wheelbarrow was, that sandy area there, past the wheelbarrow, almost to that tree. This whole area was covered with leaves. So ran it back and forth, chopped it up over and over again. Um, added the bagger, ran it back and forth, sucked up as many as I could. Then eventually you got to pull out the rake because some of the particles, you can see them down here, are fine enough that they fall down in between your blades of grass. And that's okay to leave them there, but I wanted to rake up some. So you can see there's one pile, two pile, third pile, and the fourth one. So that might be two wheelbarrow fulls max. So I'll get that cleaned up and throw it in the garden. So just, you know, a little couple things you can be doing in your garden. A lot of you may have done this in the fall, but the bottom line with this is if you have any organic matter, uh, leaves, if you don't treat your lawn, grass clippings, things like that, if you incorporate those into your beds throughout the year, your soil will be much healthier. Uh, and it can also act as a mulch depending on how thick you put it on. If you check back on my videos earlier, we did do a video on composting. So I don't always put them straight down into the garden. I'm kind of doing this because um, it's in the late winter and it's still uh, a time I can put down some mulch. But that's my compost pile. You can see that I ask also add leaves to that as well. So bottom line, think about organic material the materials you have in your garden. You can certainly utilize that. And these beds are good to go. They're ready for the spring. Uh, I'll do some pre-emergent once we warm up a little bit more and then a mulch on top of that. But you can see the, the beds are clean of weeds. Uh, they've got a, a nice light layer of uh, leaf, leaves down, chopped up leaves. And now I'm just waiting to see what happens with the winter in terms of um, it's early February. Am I gonna have to do more pruning or not? If I do, I'll do that. And then I'll be ready for the uh, springtime. That's it. Uh, comment below. Curious, do you use leaves in your garden? Make an excellent compost, a mulch, and just all around good material to put in your rose beds. Have a great day.